Joe Biden didn't just side with China on the virus. He did. He called me again. Xenophobic. That's what he said. You all heard it many times. He described the rise of China as, quote, a very positive development. Not a positive development. Not for us, it's not. He said that the idea that China is our competition is really bizarre. He's really bizarre. He said, China is not a problem. No. Nobody's ripped us off more than China over the last 25, 30 years. Nobody close. And he says, China is not a problem. Now he takes it all back now. Now he wants to be Mr. Tough Guy. But for years, 47 years, he never came out against China, never said anything bad, just the opposite. Indeed, Biden expressed more fawning praise about China on an ordinary day than about America. On the 4th of July, the last Independence Day, Biden attacked the United States and said we had, quote, never lived up to the ideals of our fathers, our forefathers, or our founding fathers, those founding ideals. And yet, he enthusiastically stated that China is a great nation, and we should hope for its continued expansion. Well, we all wish well to China, but what China's unleashed on the world, it's, uh, it's hard to even fathom. I see people now, friends of mine, they walk up, they want to say hello, and they have to keep their distance, and they're all covered up like you're all covered up with face masks. It's a different world, but we're coming out on top. Biden sides with China over America time and time again. And he said on the 4th of July, American history is no fairy tale, and yet blindly celebrates China, saying few nations in history have come so far, so fast. He's so proud of them. He's so proud of them. <laughs>